Brexit, I guess Minister, the Brexit has started to sort of uh, sort itself out. Where are we sitting now? Well, I think the Brexit vote uh, caught a lot of people by surprise. And I guess the, the fundamentals are that it's not going to happen fast. It's going to take a long time to work its way through. It'll be a couple of years before it's likely that they pull the trigger. Uh, then some are saying it'll take several years after that. Uh, could be five or six years for the full um, exit of um, the whole European Union. In the meantime, uh, all of our existing quotas and trading rights are still in place and we've received assurances from the UK and EU ministers that our trading relationship will continue as it is uh, until that point in time when, of course, uh, the UK chooses to pull that um, exit clause. What I did shortly after the vote went through is I pulled in all the primary sector uh, leaders and chief executives. They met with Minister McClay in my office. We've set up a technical advisory group uh, so that government and industry are well aligned. Uh, we're also looking at a strategy and resourcing going forward. Obviously, a lot of rules that came out from Brussels and the European Union had a big impact on the UK, but now, of course, they'll be having to create all of those themselves. So we know we've got pretty good resources in Brussels, but may not have the right technical experts in London. So we're very mindful of making sure uh, in the next wee while that we focus on uh, the necessary resources for uh, the UK as it moves forward. And I guess the other fundamental point is we're still carrying on with our negotiations to get to the point where we can formally kick off an EUNZ uh, FTA negotiation, and that's making good progress. So hopefully next year we're in a position to uh, talk more about that.